Hey there, so today we have another review. This is courtesy of Jeremiah from Hot Butcher of the World. Um, pretty regularly he's sending me these boxes, so I thought I'd just skip the unboxing, just straight go into the video. Uh, this is a review. This is Normalize the Signal. This is a Mosaic Sabro double IPS M5. Um, that's not, yeah, that kind of like, what is this like? Anyway, fun, kind of graffiti-ish, kind of like um, sketching kind of artwork on that. Mosaic and Sabro. Let's see how this combination turns out. Brewery definitely um, trying things out, experimenting, blends and, and percentages and all this kind of fun stuff. So, And also processes probably within uh, how the hops are used on Whirlpool, Cold Side, all that stuff. So beer is that kind of classic uh, milky looking New England haze, full on haze, like old color, um, like, yeah, completely opaque and fluffy white head on that. Looks nice. Yeah, cheers. I don't avoid looking at tasting notes. Let's not do that. Mm, yeah, uh, familiar with the other beers. It's got this soft kind of um, like pillowy, oh man, pina colada. Uh, I'm thinking uh, back to um, you know, New York City, just having like uh, delicious kind of like um, takes on ices, like, you know, uh, was it Ray's, is it Ray? No, Ray's, uh, Ray's pizza. Is there Ray's ices too? Forget, but. But yeah, there's a big peachy note. There's that kind of like, um, not straight, like, like, uh, not straight, like, um, what is it? Shaved ice where it's like big crystals. It's a kind of smooth, creamy, um, what do they call that? Sorbet, sorbet, sorbet. Yeah. So it's got a ton of this kind of like apricot peachy thing. And deep underneath you get like a really rich kind of like coconutty pina colada tropical vibe. Soft. Nice and pretty. Cheers. Mm, yeah. Uh, follows on the palate. You get this bright, just like, I mean, it's absolutely insane that Sabro uh, offers this flavor note, but it's that kind of creamy, nah, but like creamy slash like flaked coconut thing. The other tasting note that I, um, got from a uh, Jimmy Lazana chef is that there's, there's dill and I sort of can see that there's that kind of like dilly spicy bright kind of character to it so it's not only coconut sometimes but it's also dill and I've gotten that from one of our Sabro beers uh, at Ellipsis too yeah it's just like edge of just like bright green herbal character and it's like specifically that dill like which would be fun with seafood that'd be pretty interesting Because now you talk about it, it's hard to get past it. And not only is it dill, dilly, dill-ish, but it's also a little bit minty. There's a little bit of this like menthol cooling, cooling thing, almost like a eucalyptus. Um, almost reminds you of like, you know, a New Zealand hop or something, but, uh, or Australian hop, but eucalyptus-y, green, minty coming through. So you get this bright kind of like pineapple flavor with a little bit of that coconut. So it's like not pure pina colada, but it's like reminders of it. And then it just gets get very green. So maybe this on that dill, but now as I talk more, it's more of that bright, like minty eucalyptus thing. Creamy palette, super dangerous. Um, there's a little bit of hop, there's a perceivable amount of hop dryness on the back end too. Helps like drought the beer. Not the biggest rich smoothie, um, high residual or perceivably high residual sugar kind of New England IPA because it has that kind of like drying effect and that minty effect on the back end. Very good. And then there's also that kind of um, perceived bitterness uh, from the hop uh, matter in here too. Creamy, creamy. Tasty stuff, very, very, very good. I'm very curious where the mosaic comes in here. I, I'm, 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 I'm sure it's filling up a bunch of holes or like offering complexity to this beer that this beer is not just throwing off only Sabro, obviously it has both hops, but um, yeah, really nice combination of coconut and the uh, pineapple and then the fruity characteristics, stone fruit and that dilly slash, and, and then also the kind of like hop matter thing. And then also some of that um, uh, minty uh, thing going on here. Um, very good. And then behind that is their classic kind of like chewy mouthfeel, uh, goes straight to like, you know, other half, treehouse, brews like that. So fantastic. Uh, this beer for me gets a solid, Very good. Um, let's go with a solid 90, 97, 97, 97, why not? 
97, that is Hot Butcher. And by the way, I completely forgot. Um, let's compare some tasting meals. Candy Citrus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, light Pine. There you go. That's that uh, green flavor I was talking about. And then Vibrant Tropical, for sure. Uh, yeah, there you go. So that is Normalize the Signal. 97 for me. Thank you so much, Hot Butcher. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later.